Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So Allah Khan here and continuing the topic of uh, the, the discrete, the continuous time convolution in which we have started examples from the previous video. So we continue with examples. So let's say the first example that we take is uh, x of t is exponential of t. into u of minus t and h of t is u of t, the impulse function. And we are asked y of t, so we know y of t, for y of t we have to do the integration negative infinity to positive infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. <coughs> Sorry. So let's get started. We're doing it graphically. So let's say I have the x of t over here. Uh, okay. If this is your graph. So, so, so if my x of t is what? Exponential of t, which means this is a rising function. So exponential of t would be like this. And it would be like this. Fine. But have a look, it's multiplied with the u of negative t. So which means that we only have the negative portion. So the positive portion has been clipped off. And we don't have any magnitude, so this is 1. If this is the t-axis, right? And similarly, then if you have to change it to x of tau, you know the steps. So, so this is also your x of tau, if you represent this as a tau axis. Then your h of t, which is equal to u of t, so it would be like this. If this is my t axis and this is my h of t, so this is my u of t, which is 1. Fine. And similarly, again, if you have to represent it, so I would just change the, the variables over here. You draw it separately. The next that you have is you time reverse h of t. So which means you need an h of minus t. So, which means this would be like this. This is if t, so this is h of minus t. This is 1 for the negative values of t and similarly h of minus tau it is if this is your tau axis. Fine. Now, the next thing is that you have to do the shifting, which means you have to find h of t minus tau. So again, uh, depending on the value of t, you could have the value either be a negative or it could be positive. Oh, sorry. This t value of t could be positive and you know what happens in the, each of the case. So first, let's say we talk about t negative. So we would be drawing the graph for h of t minus tau so if this is the tau axis, this is my h of t minus tau. So what will happen? You would have to shift the signal towards the left by t units. Or the signal would be starting at negative infinity and, and what would happen? It will end at, at tau equal to t. This magnitude is 1. Isn't it like this? It is. So this is h of t minus tau for less than 0. Now what do you have? The next thing that you have is you have to find the product. So the product is what? You have to, uh, let me draw the scale first. This would be your graph. If this is the tau axis, what do you have to do? You have to find it with x of tau. So x of tau, which is like this. And I and I've made a mistake, okay? I've made a mistake. What is the mistake that, that, that I made this wrong? Wait, 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 wait. This is not going to be like this. This is going to be like this. Because this is h of t minus tau, so this would be like this. t and this is 1. Find the magnitude. So, x of t is what? x of t is like this, some sort of a function. Right, this is 1. 
and you have to multiply it with an h of t minus tau h of t minus tau and which is this sort of a function so have a look what do you have to do you have to take the product you have to integrate it so i would do what i would say that my y of t this is equal to not from negative infinity to positive infinity it's from negative infinity till t till t and x of tau is what x of tau is exponential of tau and multiply with u of minus tau so that's one fine and and and, and h of t minus tau is one so you have it as exponential of exponential of tau and this is with respect to tau okay so now you know integration better than me the the integration of exponential is the same exponential function and the limits are t and minus infinity now you do what you have exponential of t minus exponential of minus infinity you know exponential of minus infinity is zero and this means that y of t is equal to exponential of t for t less than zero and let me check this yes this is fine now the next case the next case is for the value of t greater than zero i'm dropping markers today i don't know why so uh, no problem the next case for t greater than zero what would be the case it would be like this if this is your tau axis and now uh, this is your h of t minus tau axis so for t greater than zero the signal would start at negative infinity and it would end at some value of t which is some positive value of t some positive value of tau so now again you do the same multiplication you you have what you have it like this this is if t and and this is uh, the product x is would be x of tau and x of tau is the same like this this is one this point and your h of t minus tau it's like this it's one and it's like this fine h of t minus tau so now what do you have is you have again y of t the integration is from negative infinity but have a look the product will exist only till zero because the x of tau is zero uh, about, uh, after the after the y axis so the product will exist from negative infinity to zero x of tau is exponential of tau and h of tau is one so this is exponential of tau and now what do you have you have again uh, the same exponential of tau with the limits uh, zero and minus infinity so what do you do is now you have an exponential of zero minus exponential of minus infinity so which means you have one minus zero or you can say that your y of t is equal to uh, one for t greater than or equal to zero and you could you know uh, draw the graph by yourself but let me draw it for you guys if this is my y of t axis and this is my t axis so what do you have is for t less than zero you have an exponential of t this is one and for t greater than or equal to zero well this is not proper you can draw it proper for yourself it's like this so this is your answer so this is about the first example Let's say we see another one. Okay, so the next is example number 2.6 of the book. <clears throat> 2.6 of the book in which x of t is given to be what? Exponential of negative t u of t. So this is the same as that one. Oh, let's see we do it exponential of a negative t into u of t and i impulse response is again the impulse function and y of t is unknown which we know that is equal to this thing fine 
Fine. So now you do it. So again, if we uh, draw the graphs first, so x of uh, my x of t would be like y. So this is an exponential of uh, wait a minute x of t, right? So what do you have is you have an exponential of negative t, which means that this is a exponentially decreasing function, and you don't have any coefficient, so which means that this is the, the, the intercept is going to be 1. But have a look, this is being multiplied with the u of t, which means that the negative portion has been clicked. So, so, so this point is going to be 1. Fine. Uh, and again, if you, if you draw it, if you want the x of tau representation, so this would be tau if the variable is tau. You do it stepwise. Fine. Don't draw it in a single graph. The next is h of t. So my h of t would be what? Uh, my h of t is again the impulse signal. So if this is h of t, this is going to be 1. And if you represent it in tau, so this is your h of tau, if this is tau. And again, you have an h of minus tau. So you have to flip it around the around the what? Around the y-axis. So this is 1, this is h of minus tau, this is zero. Now again, based on the value of t, if you have an h of t minus tau, so you could have either t value to be positive or it could be negative. So let's say first if we consider it for t less than zero, so you have an h of t minus tau would be something like this. If this is my h of t minus tau, this is tau, so, so, so this would be coming from negative infinity till somewhere over here t. Fine, now if you need to find the product, so the product, if this is your tau axis, this is my product axis, which is between uh, x of tau, which is like this, 1 and my h of t minus tau, which is like this. So we don't have any product, we don't have any overlap, so no overlap. And this means that y of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0. Fine. The next case, the next case that I represent with the green color is that t could be greater than or equal to 0. So, this is the case. You have h of t minus tau, this is the tau axis, this is t. So, now if you need to find out the product, this is my tau axis, this is my product axis. So, the product is x of tau, which is like this. This point is 1. And it's with h of t minus tau, which is like this. So now the product would exist. And let me write over here. So y of t, where would the product exist? Negative infinity till value t. Till the value t. No, not from negative infinity. Have a look. Only from 0 to t. So... 0 to t because the overlap exists only over here, yes. And what is the function's value? It's exponential of minus t, right? And I missed an a over here. Well, an a was written over here, uh, minus a t, but it was also given that a is greater than 0, so it didn't have any effect over there, but over here it can have an effect. So over here we have an exponential of minus a t and u of t would be 1 and then your h of t minus tau which is again 1, fine, and you integrate it with respect to tau. Now you know integration better than me, it would be I believe uh, 1 upon a or have I written it somewhere or I don't know, yes, but it would be a negative 1 upon a, right? Yes, this would be a negative 1 upon a. And you have an exponential of minus a tau again. It's fine. 
and, and the limits are the limits are t and zero so you simplify it for yourself you do what you simplify it for yourself so this would imply that y of t this would equal to one upon a one minus exponential of minus a t this is for t greater than or equal to zero so have a look as in the previous cases we saw that my signal is if zero for the negative time so i could just multiply this for positive time with the u of t to get an overall signal so i could say that my y of t this is equal to one upon a one minus exponential of minus a t multiplied with a u of t and this is for all the time axis so if this is my time axis and this is my y of t axis so it was zero for the negative time and for the positive time now it is increasing some way like this you draw it in matlab fine and you would come to know that this isomptote asymptote asymptote or what do we call it this the value that it is reaching at infinity this would be equal to 1 over a fine so this is the answer to example 2.6 so let's do one more example okay before it gets boring okay and this time we have example 2.8 of the book let's say 2.8 8 and what do we have x of t is equal to exponential of 2 t u of minus t exponential of 2 t into u of minus t the impulse response h of t is u of t minus 3 and we are asked about y of t and we know y of t is given by this relation fine so let us draw the graphs first so exponential of 2t so uh, we would have it like this uh, this is if the t axis this is my x of t axis so what would happen exponential of 2t which means again it's an exponential rise so it would be something like this fine uh, and then it's u of minus t so which means that the positive portion would be clipped so this is a one and this is my x of t now if you have x of tau so this would be a tau axis and this would be my x of tau then my h of t is u of t minus 3 so have a look if this is my t axis and this is my h of t so u of t is equal to uh, for 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 equal uh, to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 minus 3 means what that the signal has been shifted 3 units towards the right so which means that the signal has been shifted 3 units towards the right so this is t so and this would be 3 so this would be my this is one right and then again if you have an h of uh, tau so this would be an h of tau right and similarly an h of minus tau would mean a time reversal about the y axis again so let's say i do it directly with tau and over here i represent it with an h of minus tau so this is minus three so this would be the case this would be one now again h of t minus tau shifting you know the you know the steps right h of t minus tau so the first case that i take is for t less than zero so what do you have h of t minus tau would be like this if this is my tau axis this is h of t minus tau axis so this is 3 so you would have this point where the signal ends this would be t minus 3 this would be t minus 3 right 
and then again the product so the, for the product what do you do is you have the uh, tau axis you have the product axis and the product is between x of tau which is like this 1 and and h of t minus tau which is like this till t minus 3 so which means that my y of t my y of t the integration would be from negative infinity to t minus 3 and my x of tau is exponential of 2 tau and h of t minus tau is what it's 1 it's 1 right so you have it with respect to tau now again what would be the case is that you have a 1 upon 2 and then what uh, exponential of 2 tau and the limits are t minus 3 and negative infinity so you have 1 upon 2 uh, let's say common exponential of 2 times uh, t minus 3 and then you have a minus exponential of uh, minus infinity which is 0 so so the final answer that is y of t is equal to uh, it's 1 upon 2 exponential of 2 times t minus 3 and, and this is for t less than 0 fine now now what do you have the next case for t greater than 0 or equal to 0 well it's equal to 0 so that's the same case so for t greater than or equal to 0 what do you have you have this tau you have this h of t minus tau and again this pro this point would be somewhere here what will be again t minus 3 isn't it like this it should be so again this would be t minus 3 and again the product the product would be something like this this would be my tau x is well this would be my x of tau which is which is like this one and my h of t minus tau which is like this t this is my h of t minus tau so my y of t my y of t would be now not from negative infinity to positive infinity it would be from a negative infinity till zero negative infinity till zero my x of t is exponential of 2t h of t minus tau is 1 you you just do it with respect to uh, dt now what do you have uh, it would be 1 upon 2 exponential of 2 tau well this is tau okay yes this is tau and the limits are 0 and minus infinity so let's say 1 over 2 outside exponential of 0 and then you have an exponential of mm, minus infinity so it would be 1 over 2 exponential of wait exponential of 0 would be 1 and exponential of minus infinity would be 0 so you have y of t equal to 1 over 2 this is a constant for t greater than or equal to 0 and let me check and now the graph let's say so the graph would be like this this is my y of t this is my t axis so till 3 it would be the exponential rise a little bit till value 1 over 2 and then after 3 it would be 1 over 2 so have a look, I, I wrote over here for t greater than or equal to 0 and for t less than 0, but that is not the case. This I did for simplicity, to make it more simple, okay, which I did uh, wrong. This I did wrong, okay. What do you do is, you have to check for the intervals t minus 3 less than 0 and t minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So, uh, not t less than 0, t greater than 0, okay? So, these are the two intervals that you need to do. So, now, this is your homework to do it uh, properly and you will get the same graph. If I write my answer, so this exponential would be till 0 and then 1 over 2 after 0. But that's not correct. You have to take it for t minus 3 and t, t 
t minus 3 less than 0 and t minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. This I did for making it more simple. So, uh, I believe I should finish this lecture over here. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, maybe with some more examples or maybe with the properties of convolution. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.